Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to talk to you about a question I'm asked a lot about college. Should I go to college? Is college a scam? And I always say, well, if you are going to be a doctor or a lawyer or something of that nature where you need a degree, then it could be important for you. But the reality is for most people, and I'm talking to young people today who get out of college and they have no job opportunities available to them, they have no job prospects, they have nothing, and they've wasted four years. And you may say, well, they got education. Yes, but they could have got the education in a few months' time, and it would have been more up-to-date compared to the dated, lame, lagging education going on today. They could have taken all the money they invested and all the time put into a business or multiple businesses, you could have failed at five or six businesses with all the money people are spending in college, plus all the time, until you found one that worked and became a great success. Now, this is not being said to knock those people who have went to college, because many times when I talk about college, today, not in the past, but today, and for people today, people will get defensive. Well, you know, college was great for me because years ago, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. I am not, if you went to college, I'm not knocking that. I'm not saying what you did was wrong. Maybe it was right for you. Maybe it put you in a position to be where you are today. I do not know. That is between you and God. But what I'm telling you is today, as we stand today, college is a complete waste of time and money that you could be put into bettering your life. And too many people are listening to those in the past who are telling them to do what they did. Do you really want to follow in the footsteps of all these people today who are out of work, who have college degrees, multiple degrees in many cases? Do you want to follow them? Or do you want to follow all the numerous successes, including the most wealthy in the world, who either didn't go to college or they went to college and dropped out because they found success in a business or enterprise they wanted to pursue and that was more valuable to them than just getting a degree to hang on the wall. Degrees in this day and age are so useless in many cases that men like James Altucher literally threw away his diploma. He spent all kinds of money, paid for his college himself, and when he was getting rid of all his stuff, just when he wanted to get down and minimize to 15 items or so, and the person getting rid of his items for him because he couldn't do it, he just didn't want to handle it, called him about one thing out of all the possessions she was getting rid of, throwing away, one thing, his diploma. Didn't he want it? You worked very hard for that. He said, no, burn it. I know that's hard for people to, to hear because they don't want to feel like they wasted their time. And I'm not telling you that necessarily you wasted your time, you could have learned something valuable, that's great. But if you're thinking about it today, and you have any opportunities available to you, take those first before wasting your time going to college. You can still go to college, especially if you're young, if you're 18 or 19. You can go be an entrepreneur for a few years. If that doesn't work, which I believe if you're truly an entrepreneur, and you're truly willing to give 100% effort and be focused and diligent, you'll become a success. But if not, you can always go to college and follow the traditional path that everybody else does. And when you get out of college, you'll have no job opportunities like everybody else is doing today who's going to college. But had you chose to attempt a business and truly go 100% for it, you'll be surprised that you will find success. It may not end up being exactly what you started, but you'll end up in success without college. Now, I know this is hard for some people to hear, and I knew a young guy, he got out of college, he's 22 years old, but while he was in college, he literally asked the dean, this stuff I'm learning, it's all outdated. I'm learning stuff that I can't even use today. And you know what the dean said? I know, we can't help that. Think about that. You're paying tens of hundreds of thousands of dollars to be educated in dated theories that do not work and do not apply in the real world. And so when you get out of college, 
you're just as ill-prepared as you were when you went in. Now, that may not be true in all cases, because some colleges are actually on the cutting edge. And like I said, if you're going to be a doctor, scientist, lawyer, you may need that education. But in most cases, you can get more education outside of college much faster and actually put it into work for you. I've had people babble out their theories and, well, this college had this study and this study over here. And I tell them that doesn't work. Well, but this this college is very prestigious and they said this. I said, I have real world experience. All you have is a study. And I've done those things and they don't work in the real world. I don't care what the study says. For the every one of those that works, there's three of them that it won't work in. That is not a real world solution for anything. And there's too many people that are being educated in things like that and studies and theory that when they actually get out and try to apply it in the real world, they fail. And they don't fail and recover, they fail miserably. And then end up waiting tables or doing something that would require zero degree, zero education that they could have got and not spent a penny to get in that same position they're in today after years of education and now they're stuck bussing tables or serving food. There's nothing wrong with either one of those things, but to go to college and spend all those years and all that money, even if you get a scholarship and you don't pay for any of it, your time is more valuable than the money. The money's important because it's something to focus on, especially when many people don't even have the money. So they are literally in debt for 10, 20, 30 years paying back for that college degree that got them nothing or got them the bare minimum, got them some entry level job somewhere that they could have got without the degree in the first place. You want to work in some office? Maybe they require a degree? Why don't you work for free for a week or a month and say at the end of the month, Pay me what you think I deserve. And then you go in there and you work 100%. And you be diligent and do everything you need to do. And you'll run circles around all the rest of the people there with the degrees that are just floating through life, barely getting by. Because those people are following the traditional path. They're not putting forth 100% effort. They never are. You go walk in any corporation today, there are people sitting around talking on their phones playing solitaire, babbling at the water cooler, doing all kinds of things that are not productive. And you go in there and actually are productive for eight hours compared to their productivity, which normally is about four hours maybe, you'll run circles around everybody. And you'll become such a valuable asset that they will hire you regardless of the degree issue. The degree issue is just to weed out people who they think aren't going to be disciplined enough to stick to something, follow it through to the end, and become successes. A lot of that, where companies are requiring degrees, a lot of that is still based in 1980s business theory. Because that's the garbage they're being taught in schools today. So they think, these HR directors and people like this think, well, we got to hire somebody with a degree for this and that. Why do you need to hire somebody with a degree? But they've been told they need to because they're following the old theories that you need a degree to become a success. You need a degree to have a career. But you don't. And you can outwork anybody with a degree or 10 degrees. And you can outthink anybody with a degree or 10 degrees if you will put forth the effort. Now, I'm not telling you to walk in and just be, well, I I can do this. Let me do it. I'll, I'll prove it to you. You need to know what you're doing. But you can get all the education outside of college and if you have to take a few classes in college that's fine but you can learn most of it listen you could go to Amazon right now buy college textbooks for very little money that are used read them then resell them get your money back out of them and you'll probably have as good education as the people paying tens of thousands of dollars to learn that subject you'd be amazed how much of it is just parroted or rephrased from the textbooks and there's very little actual new thought going into what is being presented to you 
There may be stories and anecdotes, but not any real world actions. I really hope you'll hear my heart on this because I'm tired of getting college age people contacting me saying, I'm wasting my time in college, but I don't know what to do. Or I went through college and now I have 50,000 in debt and I can't get a job. What should I do? Or they're 18 or 19, they're getting out of high school and they're going, well, I need to go to college because I want to, I want to become successful. My friends, this is not the 1980s. I have to stress that because that is the mentality. Back then, the 70s and 80s, you got a degree, you worked for one company for 40 years and you retired with a pension. That doesn't happen today. And all of that was a package that people are being sold. And it worked then, but it doesn't work today. And so often people are getting out of college, tremendous amounts of debt, mortgage levels of debt, and they can't even get a real job. They're getting jobs that require no degrees, no education, barely any effort. So my encouragement to you is what I've stated many, many times before in the past. Instead of going straight into college, spend a year, just a year, maybe two years, but a year. Start a business, start two, start three or four. But focus 100% on that one business you start. If it doesn't work out, start another one. But my point, and I don't want you just going back and forth and, and starting a bunch of businesses and then you can't juggle them all. But really put forth 100% effort in that one business. And if it doesn't work out, then start another one. And if that one doesn't work out, then start another one. But the point is, start putting forth effort in your own business. See what happens with that. Don't be surprised when you find great success because you're putting forth 100% effort. You're learning every single day and improving yourself. And you'll get more education in that one year than you would have gotten in eight years of college. Because you're getting real world experience that applies today. Not old studies that a uh, business theory that don't work. Probably didn't work when the studies were founded in the 80s. And they definitely don't work today. And then you don't have any debt. You've built a business. You've become successful. And you didn't have to fall into the trap that all the rest of the people are doing today. Think of what a trap this is that you're being sold that you need to go spend tremendous amounts of money in order to get a job. Basically, you have to buy the job by spending all this money with these educational facilities. But the reality is, who's actually making any money there? Who's the only one really, truly benefiting? It's all these colleges and universities. They make tremendous amounts of money for no reason. The, the, the rates they're charging are ridiculous. They don't need that much money, but they're gouging and all these individuals coming in. They're being sold the same lie from the 80s or before, and then they get out and they get nothing. Or they get some entry-level job they could have received without a diploma in the first place. And they would have saved four years of their life, and they would have saved tens of thousands of dollars in debt. My friends, this is very, very important. College is a scam. I cannot stress that enough. Yes, if you're going to fall into a field that requires a degree, being a doctor, veterinarian, a lawyer, whatever, then yes, go to college by all means. Do whatever you need to do. But that's not most people. That is a lot of people, but that's not most people. And I'm, I'm getting people constantly contacting me not knowing what to do. Some in a panic because not only do they have no job, they have this debt looming over them that might take them 10, 20, 30, 40 years to pay off. This, my friend, is a tragedy and this is why college is a scam. You don't need college to become successful. You don't need college to become a billionaire. You don't need college to become a millionaire. You don't need college to be happy. Matter of fact, it probably is going to have the opposite effect on you for all those areas. Wealth, riches, happiness, love, success, peace, joy. Most of those things will probably flee from you as you go through college 
you get brainwashed into certain ideologies, you get taught old dated theories, you get taught backwards thinking, and you get taught things that don't work in the real world, and you're paying for that. And then you get out there, you have no job, you have education that's useless to you, and really, if we're honest about it, it's not really education at all, because you're just indoctrinated in bad thinking. And it might take you longer than four years to undo all the bad thinking and all the bad teaching you were taught and all the dated theories and actually to become successful. So in many cases, it actually could hinder you and make you worse off. So my friend, I really hope you'll think about this and consider this. Obviously, do whatever you feel is right. It's your life to live. It's not mine. But I can only speak to you in an honest manner about what is really going on in the real world. I don't have any reason to suggest you go to college or not go to college. I have no financial incentive either way. But I know what works and I know what I've seen. And I know how many people I've had tell me how useless their college education was for their life and how much of a detriment it was to them and how it not only wasted their time, but it created a debt for no reason that in many cases is hanging over their heads for 20 years or more. So my friend, I pray this was a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.